because the sport it really gives you a good exercise and helps you become more of a team player because there's only two people on the court. Because I really enjoy the sport and I think it's like an active way to like have fun. I just love it. It's just such a good workout and it's fun to do with your friends. I think it's a really good idea to play beach because it helps you with your agileness and it's really fun. It's like in summer it's like another activity you can do instead of sitting at home and it occupies your time really well and I love it. I have a park by my house and it has a few beach courts and it's just me and my friends used to go out there and just work out a little bit, um, get some hitting in. So it's always fun. My mom has always played it and always been out here so just it's a normal thing now and I like it. My coaches told me you should try outdoor volleyball beach and I was like alright I'll just try it. Um, first time I played I almost died because I was not in shape to play but throughout that I've just loved it and I've learned to play the game. You know, they're really completely different sports. You know, it's a different surface, uh, different environment, as you can see, and uh, indoor six players, outdoors two. Uh, the similarities are the skills, but if you try to put them in the same category, it's more like comparing baseball to softball. Um, they're completely different sports and strategy and every other way. The main differences between beach and indoor volleyball is that for beach, you have to be a versatile player. With indoor, you're mostly kind of sectioned off to one sport. So you're a libero, you're a setter, outside hitter, etc. But for beach, there's only you and another person. So you kind of have to do all the skills, passing, setting, hitting, serving. Beach volleyball, you kind of have to be good at everything. Like you have to be a passer, a setter, and you have to like know how to hit and control the ball too. Indoor, you're relying on more people to get the ball. In beach, it's just you and your partner. Really, even the college game, something that's really unique is uh, indoor, when two teams play against each other, whoever wins, wins that match. In our team, five matches play, and whoever wins three out of five win the competition. So even from that regard, the whole competition is set up in a different environment than it is uh, for indoor volleyball. Yeah, indoor, you're obviously indoor on a court. You wear shoes, you wear knee pads, you have five other girls on the court with you. Um, outdoor, you're in sand, there's sun, there's wind, there's rain, there's cold, um, you're barefoot, you can't jump as high, and it's just a lot more challenging, but it's as fun, or even sometimes more fun than indoor. On the beach, if you aren't well-rounded and you can't do everything, then you're not going to be successful. Um, so that's a, a, probably the biggest part of from the athletic perspective, this difference between the two sports is um, the lack of specialization in our, in our sport and um, the requirement of a well-rounded skill set. You know, the, the ability to train indoor players is a controlled environment. Um, it's an opportunity that they've had for many, many years. And with Beach just starting, um, the differences in training are, uh, they're huge because it's, it truly is a different sport. So the skill set that we pass and we set and we jump and hit and serve is the same, but the techniques are completely different techniques. Um, there's, there's a little bit of crossover, but not much. So the indoor player doesn't necessarily transition into the, in, uh, to the outdoor game very well, and the outdoor player doesn't really transition to the indoor game very well. Um, it's truly just completely different training. I think that for beach volleyball, you have to train a lot more. It's a lot of more conditioning. You have to be able to run in sand, be able to jump high on sand, and it's a lot harder because you don't have that platform to help you do everything else. Training for beach is much more intense because you gotta deal with the hot sun, you gotta deal with being out of breath more, and it's harder to jump and run in the sand. Being in the sand, it's not as stable as the court, so you have divots in the sand, it's a lot heavier, so pushing off and moving is very tough. With the court, it's everything's flat and you know exactly kind of what you're doing. Um, you have the right footing, it's easy to push off, you don't have any adversity with the court as you do with the sand. 
Um, indoor athletes are in great shape. They lift and they train and they run. They do all the things that we do, but the physical um, stamina that's needed to play on this surface is you can't prepare for it without being in it. And then you have to be in a lot better shape than what it requires indoor because you're trying to make all those contacts in about a foot to a foot and a half of sand. Um, so just the physical capabilities, mental toughness, being able to deal with the elements and strategize, as well as having to be good at every single fundamental skill outdoor as opposed to indoor where you could really isolate um, the one or two skills that you're good at and be, still be a big contributing part of a team and the team system. And from a training perspective, um, one of the biggest differences is that coaches who are coaching with beach athletes really want to make sure that those athletes are able to think a little bit more independently and for themselves as opposed to perhaps indoors where we can, as coaches, talk to the athletes out on the beach during the play. We can't talk to those athletes at all, so we have to prepare them during the week to figure things out for themselves as opposed to being able to call out things and help them adjust on the fly. Well, the local opportunities to compete in, v in beach volleyball in this state um, post high school are, are very large compared to other programs. I think it's awesome that we have uh, four legitimate programs, um, and I think it's great for our state. I think it gives huge op more opportunities um, for the local kids in high school. Um, I think it also nationally speaks on, you know, we have a lot of interest in this game. For being such a small state on a national scheme, um, the fact that we have four college teams that are, can compete on the national level um, with a good bit of local kids on everyone's roster, um, there's a good push coming in from the youth to really get this going here in the state. It's huge. I think it gives, it gives more people my age the chance to make it. Like my perspective, like I want to make it to the Olympics, but I don't know because first that you got to get into college and having more programs for colleges helps you get the opportunity to get there. From a developmental standpoint it's terrific because there's just that many more opportunities now for juniors and younger players in the state of Louisiana to see the game played at a much higher level, perhaps be inspired by the players playing um, and it's a great, as we said before, those scholarships are now Great, providing an awesome opportunity for younger players in Louisiana to play a game that they love while getting some of their or all of their school paid for. It would honestly, it would mean the world to me because I, I want to play volleyball in college, whether it be indoor or beach or both. Um, and just to get the scholarship and for it to, to have a coach like want you on their team, it's just a lot of like self-satisfaction and that you like actually made it. Um, I think a lot of people started the program with that mindset, like, hey, we can start a beach program, not have to spend a lot of money because we already have volleyball players on campus, and if they play indoor, then they can play outdoor. And what we found after the very first year is that is not true, that's not an accurate statement. Um, you could very well be really good at one and not good at all at the other. And we found that, and we've worked really hard here to try to make those programs more independent. So now, you know, going into to our third year, we have a significant number of athletes that only play beach and a significant number of athletes that only play indoor because the sports are not the same. And the question as to whether beach volleyball and indoor volleyball are the same sport is a question that comes up not only in that context but throughout uh, a variety of the NCAA rules themselves. 
um, speaking solely as a person who likes to see the sport develop and who wants to promote growth in the sport and to create opportunities and not decrease opportunities to play and to create opportunities to coach and not decrease opportunities to coach. Um, I would be in favor of seeing the sports as separate sports um, because that creates a greater opportunity for more players to get involved and for more coaches to become involved or to stay in the game. You know, I think every, every, every governing body has to make their own decision, but if you look at it from the top down, the NCAA has separated it, the campuses have separated it, and certainly I think eventually it will be separate sports. Um, there's an evolution to it, and, and just as indoor for our campus here at LSU, we started it with indoor players crossing over surfaces. I think the sport has to be allowed to evolve and the mentality has to be allowed to develop. Any new championship for female student athletes is a positive thing. I think it would be a tremendous asset to our in-state athletes to have a beach championship because that will give them more opportunities to only play beach. Having the opportunity to, to win another championship or compete for another championship, you know, there is nothing to be said that could be greater in a collegiate or high school or club or any other environment than you get a chance to compete for a championship because you're working towards something. I would hope they would do it before summer of 2017 because I'm going to be a senior next year and I would love to have the opportunity to play. So that would be cool if some of my friends and us could make it possibly to a state championship for beach. In my opinion, I like beach better so that would be better for me. That would be awesome, please. <laughs> um, it's just good to have like diversity in the sport instead of just sticking it indoor. I feel like it would bring like a lot of people out. I guess you get more recognition if it's a state because more people would go to it and like here like it's your family and friends but in state like it's your whole school supporting you. Oh my gosh, I want that so badly for next year for my senior year. That would be so awesome. I've been waiting for it for four years now. I really hope that it can happen because one more year obviously to do it. Um, and it's just, I know we do have the indoor programs and everything, but the, the two games are completely different. I just, it would really mean a lot to be able to do that for my senior year.